The next trick is one of my favorite, and it's all about improving vegetation. In order to do that, you need to get actually 3D vegetation from your render engine. So this trick is not going to work if you have photos of grass or trees. It's only work if you have, you know, the real object rendered in the scene, okay? So you have, if, if you have a 3D plant, I would say. And works amazingly with vegetation because normally what you get in a 3D plant is a translucent shader. So light pass through it and it get weaker and weaker each time uh, the light pass through leaves and grass blades and so on. And so most of the time what you don't get anymore is a nice light on you know each surface and a strong shadow. And to do so, we are going to use this uh, Photoshop file from one of our former students, Fernando from Masterclass24, because in this file we have actual 3D uh, vegetation. And what you need to achieve this result is to uh, get the V-Ray Raw Total Lighting Pass. So if you use V-Ray, this is the pass you need. Or the uh, row component diffuse if you uh, render with Corona. And basically, what you need is this kind of uh, lighting pass with every shader, which is basically turned into a medium gray or basically light gray Lambert material. Uh, once you have this, you can take this and bring into your own folder with the uh, with, a, with a mask of the vegetation. Another pass you can use is the specular one, which is uh, this one. And the specular pass works only if you actually have some reflection on your uh, vegetation shaders, okay? And as you can see here, you can get the specular of every grass blade and that's amazing. And it only works if you have, of course, reflection. These, the specular is basically the reflection of the sunlight or of a light source. In this case, is the sunlight because we are on um, an exterior image. So once you have these two passes, you can then bring them into a folder. Now, I'm going to take them and uh, make a copy of them. So Control J. And then I bring them down here into the adjustment folder. Okay, so adjustment folder. And uh, I don't need passes anymore, so I hide them. And then I put these two layers into a new group, Control G. I call this one uh, vegetation. Of course, I'm into the adjustment folder because vegetation is part of the original render. So I hide them for a minute, for a second, and I need now a mask here, a proper mask of the, you know, all, all the green stuff here, all the vegetation. And as you can see here in the mask folder, there's many masks for grass and leaves. And that's because uh, Fernando used uh, <clears throat> forest pack a lot in this project. And each forest pack is basically like now one, one color, one different color. So we end up uh, getting more than one mask for vegetation. So what to do? You keep the first one at the bottom in normal mode and then all the others, okay, you need. So for example, we need this one. You know, this one have to be in linear dodge. So the mask from the second one will be added to the mask of the first one. Okay, same for this one. Let's check. Uh, well, we don't need the, you know, we don't need the, the these are rocks. We don't need them. So we can uh, select them uh, manually, uh, you know, in a second moment. Here we have stuff we don't need. And here we have trees. We can add these in a second moment. So let me see. Okay. We can start with this, okay? So I can click on uh, Control and Red channel, and then now Control Shift to add the green channel. Again, Control Shift to add the blue channel. I click on the blue channel, and then I go back on Layers, and I reveal this mask, okay? So from this one, I need the green and the red, so I go back in the channel, Control Shift Red, Control Shift Green, 
and probably it's okay like this. Let me check. Okay, this is not the right one. Uh, we can add this, you know, pine trees, maybe. We can this do this in a second moment. It's not a problem. But, you know, if you want to do this now, you can just go back into the channel and press Ctrl, Shift, and click on the blue. Okay? I'm not doing it on the trunks here because I prefer to do this trick only on uh, actually uh, translucent materials, okay, like leaves and... Uh, grass okay now I have a selection and so I can go back on my vegetation folder and I can add the mask clicking this button here okay good so now we can check yes that's that's all right and that's all right so let's start from the rotor lighting now what to do rotor lighting uh, need to go in overlay or soft light okay and uh, it depends on how strong you want the result, okay? Soft light is basically 50% weaker than overlay. And let's, let's say a soft light for, you know, uh, soft light is, is fine to me. And probably, you know, I don't want to exaggerate, so I want to keep this like, I don't know, 50%. It's, it's enough for now. And we can check the difference. And it's a, it's a huge difference. It's a huge difference. Look how... Now shadows are way more visible than than before. Everything looks a little bit more contrasted, a little bit more like uh, three-dimensional, I would say. And then what I normally like to do is to use a color balance to make this grass a little bit more kind of, you know, uh, warm, I would say, like a little bit more yellow, yellowish, you see? Something like that. Really cool, really cool. Okay, you know, just these two layers together, they makes a lot of difference, okay? And then I can add some speculars here and because I want to keep only the white areas in this uh, very dark layer, I can just take this uh, blend mode to screen and screen will delete completely every dark area and if you, if you hide and show this, you will see difference you see every every specular now is way more stronger than before and i really like the results and as you can see it's very simple very effective and very quick to do sometimes sometimes you can get some problems with the rotor lighting or the row component diffuse if you come from corona and you know sometimes it's over brighted or you know overexposed or underexposed so keep in mind that you can after you put this in soft light or overlay you can take and use a curve attached only to this uh, layer and you can try to make it brighter or darker depending on the result okay it doesn't it doesn't work every time so this is up to you and you have to of course you have to check yourself uh, what to do there's something else we can do, like painting light, but this is too soon, okay? We can do it in another video. Um, maybe you want, you know, to get a bit, a little bit of, um, you know, sunlight, a stronger sunlight here in this uh, foreground part because you want to, you know, attract my eyes there. But we can do this in another video. Anyway, you will find this file in uh, the lesson so you can download it and try yourself, okay? So remember, rotator lighting or row component diffuse with vegetation it works amazingly and it get you a more 3d feel more 3d look and uh, you know i always use use this trick um i mean try to not exaggerate okay so if you feel like it's too strong try soft light instead of overlay and you will be happy